Okay, here we go. We're going to open up our virtual system. I used Windows 7 32-bit, so that's what I named it, just to keep it simple and easy. Um, you can name it whatever you'd like. And this will open up. It takes a little bit of time, um, and I don't think I closed it normally now, so just go ahead and click that. Um, I use Windows uh, virtual machines just off of their website. I did include the link below if you'd like to use it that way. One note, I had a problem when it came to using uh, Mozilla, which I do love and trust because of the viruses out there. Um, Internet Explorer does seem to work better when it comes to downloading. Um, I'm sure that might start a little bit of controversy between you guys, but hey, whatever. A um, little bit of a pause, and here she starts loading up. And here we go. I do have a folder on here where I tested already, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Um, and put it in the recycle bin and then um, go ahead and empty the recycle bin just to prove that this is no longer on here okay there we go and now I'm going to leave the uh, virtual machine and I'm going to go down to my start menu and I'm going to use Nero 10 I like Nero, I've always liked Nero um, and it's just an easy easy program to use to create an ISO file and you can use whatever you'd like it's just something I've been comfortable with over the years um, it's also pretty quick and you have a few options to work with these options are the ones that I've generally used you can use whatever you want just make sure you stay within your size limits when it comes to the CD or DVD um, this is just fault folder so I'm just going to use a CD-ROM just click new it's going to drag this over off my desktop. Small folder just to keep it easy so you don't have to sit here and watch it. Um, pretty much make it turn into an ISO file for the next 20 minutes. Um, definitely always use the image recorder. Don't try and burn to the DVD ROM. Big mistake. I'll go ahead and get burn now. I always put it on the desktop to keep it easy. I'll just name it YouTube. Make sure it is ISO, not anything else. Nero likes to sneak in their own folders, the NRG folder file. Don't use that. Whatever program you're using, make sure it's ISO. As you can see, convert it quickly. Done. Simple. The way we like it. And now, there's our file on our desktop. Perfect. We'll go over here, Tools, Settings. Go to our DVD-ROM. Um, and we're going to go in here. Make sure we click Open ISO Image open ISO and just go ahead and click browse go on to our desktop and find our file, our, our file, there we go okay open it up and just like if you were inserting a DVD or a CD into your ROM it'll pop up just like that click on the folder which will then bring us to our folder minimize it I'm gonna go ahead and throw this on our desktop and we are done so perfect perfect that's all there was to it very simple and it keeps viruses from spreading from your your host computer or onto your host computer and staying on the virtual machine